Before we get started, I just want to let you know this video has been sponsored by Cyber Streetwise. They want me to let you know a few ways you could be safer online. And basically, I'm just really happy to be working with them because this is a topic that no one talks about because it feels really obvious. Everyone's like, yeah, I know, I understand how the internet works. But it happens all the time still, so we're going to talk about it. Kieran, for example, my housemate and semi-decent cameraman, he got fished recently. Who gets fished these days? Kieran. Kieran does. If you want to know the full story of how that happened, it's a very funny story and you should check it after this. The link's in the description. Anyway, there's three things they want me to let you know. The first of which is to make sure you have strong passwords. I told you this was going to seem obvious, but mate, I am rubbish at passwords. The best way of doing it is to have three random words which only you should remember why you've put them in that order. Or maybe you shouldn't even know. Maybe that's the best way of doing it. That's not the best way of doing it. Obviously, don't do that. I have had the same password since, well, since I got an AOL account. An AOL account. Don't guess it. And log into everything I've ever signed into. Note to self. Change all passwords. Three random words. Two of my closest friends have had their social medias hacked into because you know their passwords weren't strong enough, apparently. Dean of Jack and Dean fame got his Twitter hacked into a couple of years ago by his ex-girlfriend who... <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. And recently, you might even know this, but Louise, Sprinkle of Glitter, her Tumblr got hacked into, and some unsightly images, some nudes were, were uploaded there. Not her, though, they were fakes, although I was convinced at first. I was like, what are you doing, Louise? I rang her up being like, what are you playing at? She was like, they're not mine, obviously. My nudes are so much better than that. The second thing is to make sure you have antivirus software installed. I remember years ago on an old family computer, we got a virus, and it downloaded a bunch of you know what sort of files. And my dad was like, Jack, promise me that this is not, I was like, dad, no, it's, it's, it's just a virus. Why are you winking at me? The most obvious viruses you get are the ones where they email you and they just tell you to click on a link. I get a lot out of spam mail. I'll actually read you a correspondence I had with a, uh, a spam mailer. You know those ones where like a foreign prince is going to give you a load of money if you give him your bank details or click on a link and sign up. I got one for Mr. Anderson. Not that Mr. Anderson. Well, maybe. Dear Howard, I know that we have not known or met before now, but I'm contacting you because of the urgency of this matter. I was the account manager to Madam Anna. Oh, Madam Anna. She has died. Oh, no. Over here in Togo and left behind the amount of 5,500,000. I'm contacting you to help receive this money before the fund is confiscated by the board of directors. You don't want that to happen. I wait to hear from you and we'll give you more details about... Dot, dot, dot. That's just how it ends. Not only is the money intriguing, 5,500,000, but he's ended it on a cliffhanger. I responded saying this. Dear Mr. Anderson, I'm going to look past the fact that your email is just a JPEG of text. Bit of a weird way to format an email, but like I say, I'm going to look past it. I'm writing to let you know that I am in. It was the ellipsis that did it. Keep that, it'll intrigue anyone. To be honest with you, I'd be happy with $1 million. I don't need the other four and a half million. Maybe we could donate it. Charitable. Looking forward to hearing from you. Dot, dot, dot. Intrigued? I bet he is. He never got back to me. But while I was waiting for the reply, I got another email, this time from Jean. Jean was also from Togo, which is a weird coincidence, but in his email, he wanted me to click a link and sign up. Crafty. But he was offering me $15.5 million, a significant difference, making Mr. Anderson's offer look pathetic. But they're both from the same area. They're both from Togo. I, I don't know how big Togo is, I've never been. What I was thinking was a cheeky bit of collaboration, put the money together, more money for moi. I know I said I didn't care about the other four and a half million dollars, but now we're talking about $21 million. And this is definitely real. It, this is definitely real money that exists. I said this. Dear Mr. Anderson and Jean, apologies if this seems inappropriate, but I feel there's a way we could all work together. You're both, understandably, offering me millions of dollars with no prior contact. You're both also from Togo, which is a strange coincidence. Maybe you could meet in person to discuss these offers and then give me all the money in one go to save on multiple transactions. And because Jean so kindly left me a crafty little link in his email, I left them a crafty little link in my email, but it was just to the music video to Money 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 by ABBA. So I think I got my point across. Um... I never heard back from them. I don't think I will. This was a while ago. Unless you're watching it now, get in contact, Gene and Mr. Anderson. Let's uh, give me some serious coin. Now, obviously, you don't have to respond to spam emails. In fact, don't. Don't don't try this at home. The most important thing is don't click on the links they send you. And if you do happen to do that, make sure you have antivirus software installed. You see that? You see what I did? Bringing it back round to the point. Mm. The third and final thing is to make sure you always download the software updates. And that's for your computer, for your phone, anything that has a software update make sure you download it. I don't actually have a funny story relating to software updates. Why would I? Just because it doesn't have a story doesn't mean it's not important. I always put off those updates. I know how easy it is to do that, even though it requires no effort. Do you want to update? Click, wait. 
but they actually contain vital sort of security updates that can help protect your devices. I didn't know that. I thought it was just making iTunes better. And now that I've said it, there's like a sort of burning guilt feeling, isn't there? Because you know you haven't done it for a while. Well, you know how you can get rid of that? Update your software now. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you again to Cyber Streetwise for sponsoring it. If you want more information on them or their campaign, all the relevant links are in the description. If you want more of me, well, there's, there's plenty of ways you can go. So uh, you can look in the description for all the relevant social media things. You can like this video if you liked it because that just makes sense, doesn't it? And you can subscribe if you want more of this. I'm not going to point out where the button is because you should know by now.